Morning YouTube. So um, it's the end of week 18 and um, yeah, I'm relatively happy this morning. It's it's a double-edged sword in a way because um, I'll do the numbers first. So I'm 79.9 um, this morning. Um, so that makes it 22 kilograms altogether. So I did, uh, I think it was 1.4 weight loss last week. Um, but I suspect it's a false reading and I'll tell you why. Um, yesterday I did a lot of walking. Um, my friend uh, Penny and myself went out and visited lots of gardens um, around New Zealand or around our local area. And we did a huge amount of walking. Um, we stopped off in a cafe to get some lunch, but unfortunately the lunch wait was nearly 45 minutes for a lunch. So we thought, no, nah. so we just got a coffee. So we didn't have any lunch. Um, you know, we were sort of we had certain times to get round these gardens, so um that didn't happen. And then last night I got home and um I wasn't home very long and we had some visitors. Um and then basically I didn't you know, I didn't manage to get myself something to eat at that stage. I did have a little bit of popcorn that my husband um made and we were sat eating pop well, munching away at the popcorn which was just salted popcorn, no um, sweet stuff. And then um, by the time they left, I thought, oh, I just can't be bothered now, you know. So I ended up having just some yogurt with honey in it. So you could say I didn't have a very calorific day yesterday. So I suspect that if I jump on the scales tomorrow morning, because obviously today I'm going to eat my three meals as normal, um, that that reading will be different so but hey you know I'm going to celebrate I'm in the 70s for today and um yeah so that's fine so um the week um last week was okay and this is another reason you know I suspect it's a false reading because I didn't have I had an okay week um Thursday and Friday um mainly Friday I had what I call one of my um cheese fests you know I can only describe it as a cheese cheat and I was eating you know I was going up and cutting slithers of cheese off um the block and eating that and I ate far more than I should have done um so that was my little cheat and the reason for it pouring with rain and I couldn't get outside in the garden um I did occupy myself with doing sort of dusting and hoovering and housework around the place but there's only so much of that you can do before you go crazy. And um, I couldn't even get the dogs out for a walk. It was that wet. I mean, the the rain was absolutely torrential. So even the dogs didn't have a proper walk um, that day. Um, so, you know, but then, you know, I got back into it on the Saturday. And um, like I say, yesterday was not a good day around. I should have eaten more regularly. Um, so yeah, so I suspect tomorrow morning I'm going to jump on the scales again and I'm going to take that really as my true reading because, you know, I suspect this morning's was not true. Um, so I wanted to talk about a little bit more about, um, the, um, positives and negatives of weight loss. Um, recently back along, I talked about it a little bit. Sorry, I'm, I, <laughs> I've just had my porridge for breakfast, so I'm getting a bit of wind. Um, so, um, I said there wasn't any negatives, but there, there are some negatives. Um, I've noticed that, you know, I've got, um, how can I put it? Um, some baggy bits now, <laughs> without going into too fine a detail. Um, you know, I've got, my arms are quite wobbly now and my boobies are quite floppy. <laughs> so, you know, um. But at the end of the day, I'll settle for a really good bra <laughs> to hold everything up and sort of hide my, my tops of my arms if necessary um, to, to, you know, to lose the weight. It's much more healthier to get rid of it and have a few floppy bits than to, to hold on to it. Um, you know, and I said to my friend Penny yesterday, we were walking around. It was a really hot day. Um, I had like a, a short sleeve, you know, like a top like this on, just like this with a cardigan. And I took my cardigan off and I had the tops of my arms exposed. And I said to her, you know, I really don't like exposing the tops of my arms. And she's the same. She's, um, we're almost the same weight, actually. She's a little bit lighter than me. And, um, and she's, you know, 
dieting as well, although she's doing a different diet, she's doing the keto diet, which I really don't understand, but anyway, it's it's working for her. Um, so, um, you know, and I said, I really don't like exposing my arms. And then I said to her, you know, at the end of the day, we should celebrate ourselves. You know, we've we've both done really well. We've both had, you know, quite a lot of weight loss. And um, I said, basically, bugger it. You know, if we show our arms, who cares? You know, at the end of the day, it's only us that's, you know, ourselves that's got a problem with it. I'm sure other people don't take any notice, you know. So I thought... I don't care anymore. I seem to have got to the age where it's, I really don't care what other people think. It's irrelevant, you know, it's how I feel and it's about me. And I said to her, you know, we should celebrate. We're women, we're all attractive in our way. You know, I said to her, you know, your husband found you attractive, you know, so we should just celebrate that and forget about, you know, our own prejudice and how we feel about ourselves. So that was that. So that's, um, a little bit of the negative and the positive is um just uh you know I, I had a shower yesterday morning and I got out and I had like a smaller towel now there's no way you know 20 weeks ago or 18 weeks ago at the start of this journey that towel would have gone around me and tucked in and it did yesterday it went around me easily I could walk around with it on and not show anything you know <laughs> be res relatively um covered up and um yeah so that that's really good and it's those little things that i noticed that really do make an impact on me um the other one was um oh what was the other one? i can't think of it now but just oh that was it i i would look i was looking for something to wear yesterday and i thought oh what can i wear oh, i'm gonna wear a top you know and i i'm hunting through the wardrobes and several of the tops are starting to look quite big on me now and i thought oh i don't want to look big so I found a more fitted top um, and it was quite a nice top because it came in at the waist and tied at the waist so it had hid the belly if you like and um, and that top I actually remember buying that top it was a large um, but I bought it in like a fashion shop which is in my opinion their sizes are small and um, and it, ha it still had the label on it so I obviously bought it thinking it would fit when I bought it never fitted too small and i just shoved it in the wardrobe because it was a reduced one it wasn't you know i buy a lot of reduced priced clothing and i just shoved it in the wardrobe maybe i thought back then oh it will fit me one day i'm going to lose weight because i've always been going to i'm always going to lose weight i've always going to lose weight since i arrived in new zealand and beyond you know and um and actually i put it on yesterday and it fitted so that was a really good feeling and um i was over the moon with that so you know, it's those little things that make all the difference. Um, we did a lot of walking yesterday. We we must have walked oh, several Ks, lots of Ks, at least six or eight Ks, you know, going around people's gardens. And these are all acres. They're not, you know, little gardens. Um, plus a couple on a hill. So we were going up hills. So we did a lot of walking and I did not struggle with that at all. You know, I mean, or it going up a hill, which was like that in some cases, was a little bit of a, a workout. But I wasn't out of breath. I wasn't huffing and puffing, you know, like, oh, my God, I can't do this. I can't do this, which is what I was. I couldn't. Str I would struggle, really struggle with that. And um, and it was great. I'd come home. I'd had a really good day um, and really enjoyed myself. And I felt, you know, I was tired just last night and obviously I slept well, but. It wasn't to the point where I was absolutely exhausted. So, you know, lugging around those 22 kgs previously is what was killing me, basically, <laughs> you know, wearing me out. So, um, so that's another positive. So I'm going to start thinking more about the positives, especially on the wet days when my mood is so bad and I can't get outside and I don't know what to do. And I'm going to try and think of a strategy to not nibble on cheese. I do have some gum, chewing gum in the house, sugar-free gum. And I need to just put that in my mouth and stop thinking about putting cheese um, in my mouth. Because I don't need the cheese, you know, I really don't. Um, I'm trying to cut things like that out. So we'll see how that goes. So, like I say, 
the reading I'm going to take tomorrow. But for you guys, I'm going to celebrate 79.9 this week. <laughs> and I'm sure I'll get there by next week. So, oh, and that's that's really good. You know, I've only put my weight loss back by two weeks, whereas I thought it would be three weeks. So that that's good where I had a complete blowout and a meltdown last week. So anyway, so I'll end it there on a good note. And, um, and I'll check in with you next week, which will be week... 19 yeah it's 18 this week so end of week 19 so i'll catch up with you then bye